everybody, it's Julie from A Beautiful Horizon and today I want to talk about ways I save myself hours every week. So glad that you came back or if you're new, hi and welcome. My name is Julie and I talk about homeschooling, homemaking, and intentional living. I would love for you to subscribe if those things are something that you are passionate about. Today we're talking about saving time and I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. I remember mentioning something about this idea to somebody and they were like, oh yeah, I really want to hear like what you have to say about that. So I just want to say that these are things that work for me. Some of these things might not apply to you and that's okay. I would love to hear things that help you in the comments. If you have any ideas, I see this place as a community where I can get conversations started and we can all encourage each other and just hopefully have helpful comments or encouraging comments down there below. And so today I wanted to share a few ways that I save time. And number one is Walmart grocery pickup. I have talked about this so many times. Some of you might be like, okay, Julie, I know, I know, I know. But it really does save me like at least an hour every week. And it actually helps me because I know the things that I'm buying are things that I have thought about. Because how many times do you go to the grocery store and you have a list, but then you wind up getting at least like three extra things? Maybe you guys are way more disciplined than I am because <laughs> I struggle with this. Like, oh yeah, I need that too. And oh yeah, I need that too. And the kids want a kombucha and a chocolate bar or something. And okay, that made me sound a little hipster, but you know what I mean? <laughs> they might want something else that wasn't on your list and you wind up spending more. And I know I spend more because I'm not calculating you know how much I'm putting in my car all the time because who has time for a calculator and three kids but it also saves me time because when I'm there I'm just picking it up and I'm leaving I'm not going all the way around the entire store forgetting where things are having to go back because I missed something so it definitely saves me time too and I have a link in the description box for ten dollars off your first order I think it's fifty dollars or more but I love this service I use it all the time and it definitely saves me time Number two is along this line also, and that is meal prep. So when you get home with your stuff, just washing a couple of vegetables, putting them in containers, maybe chopping them up if you need to, will really motivate you to actually eat them. Cause I don't, I don't know what the science is behind this, but if something is washed and chopped, I guess it's just the fact that it's already done, I'm way more likely to consume it and have it not go bad in the drawer. So if you have time, just a few minutes to do a couple of things, even if you're not starting and finishing the entire meal, and it's not like, oh, look at my entire meal prep. It, meal prep. If you can do a couple of things, that can save you time next time. And maybe next time you can do a couple of things. I call this looping meal prep. I don't think that's actually a thing, but I made it a thing because I don't know if you if you know things about like homeschooling, but there's called like a looping basket. And basically you do a different subject every day. So you get all of it done in a week. Well, this is the concept applied to meal prep. So maybe one day you chop onions because you're chopping them for soup. So you chop a couple extra onions. And then maybe next time you chop a couple extra carrots when you're chopping them up for hummus. You're already doing it. So you do a little extra for the next couple days. So it's not like one day where you're cooking for the entire month and then your kitchen's a wreck and then you're exhausted, which might be the way for some people. Like if, if that works for you, awesome. For me, it's easier to do just a little bit extra. If I'm making beans for dinner, I'll make a double or triple batch and then I'll put some in mason jars, freeze them, and then next week I don't have to cook them. So that really helps me and it does save me hours over the course of maybe a month. Don't hate me. <laughs> but this is something that saves me hours so I'm going to talk about it and that is a robot vacuum cleaner. And you might think, okay Julie, not everybody's going to have a robot vacuum cleaner. But they are getting more and more affordable and I know that there's even one that's $100 and apparently it works okay so I have a bat, bot back or something like that I will link it in the description if you're interested it's actually cheaper than the stick vacuums that are super popular right now and it does it for you so I was thinking about that I was like you know it's cheaper than like the most famous vacuum on YouTube right now <laughs> but it does it for you so it saves me hours every week because I have that thing running every day I have a dog that sheds a ton and I have three kids. And so we got a lot of dirt and hair, dog hair and all that kind of stuff going on in my house. And I love emptying the basket every day or two and seeing all the stuff that it picked up and I didn't have to do it. I didn't have to walk around with the vacuum um, and get all that stuff up myself. And so we're putting it in all the bedrooms all the time and it is saving me hours every week. So 
I got that for Mother's Day and if you have a birthday or Christmas or Mother's Day or you can like combine it for like this year's my gift or something or you can give it to your husband for his birthday um, I totally suggest getting one it's on a program so every day at five o'clock it goes around and it vacuums so we know oh it's almost five o'clock we got to get everything off the floor so it's a reminder to me to stick to that evening routine of cleaning up I flip all the chairs over I get everything off the floor as much as possible and it goes around and it cleans for me and man that is one of my favorite household appliances ever I mean it's up there with like the dishwasher and the washing machine and it saves me so much time. So I will leave that linked in the description box if you're interested in checking it out, put it on your Amazon wish list. This one is probably not a shock to many people, but dry shampoo. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this hair is not so fresh, okay? But dry shampoo is something that I've really just started using in the last couple months, and now I wear my hair in a ponytail a bit less often <laughs> because I can actually make it look like semi-okay decent. I mean, me and my hair have struggles, but Dry shampoo has saved me time because after my workout, I can just rinse off and I'm not washing my hair every single day. Um, and it gets me through those in-between days so I don't have to like, you know, look like I'm walking around with wet hair, but I didn't have to wash it every single day, you know, after I get sweaty and stuff. So that really is helpful. So if you haven't jumped on the dry shampoo bandwagon yet, you might want to check it out. Maybe it's not for you, but maybe it'll save you some time. Okay, so the next one, I don't know if it really saves me time, but it puts something into my life that otherwise I have a hard time getting to, and that is listening to podcasts or um, audiobooks or things like that while I'm already doing the dishes or the laundry, etc. And um, I have a pair of wireless earbuds, or maybe you want to have, you know, the kind that plugs into your phone, maybe it just has an extra long cord or something. I don't know. I hope the earbuds, like, don't give me issues later in my life, but, but I love my Bluetooth earbuds. And I will link those in the description box or a similar pair um, if you're interested in those. But I love, love, love listening to podcasts or um, or books. Like, I love books. And I've talked about the Hoopla app before. It works with my library. So I get eight free books per month. Um, and I can just listen to them while I'm doing other things. So I feel like I'm learning something but I'm also doing something that has to be done that I don't particularly love, but when I'm listening to something, it, it's like not so bad. So I would suggest um, checking that out uh, or getting like a podcast app. I use, what is it called? I don't remember, but I will put the name of it right here, <laughs> like Castwire or something like that. I don't know. Um, but I love listening to people who inspire me, who teach me things about business, all that sort of thing. Um, if you're interested in like the podcast I like, I could make a, a little um, printable sheet or whatever and link it in the description box. Maybe I'll do that. And um, just has like some like personal development or like family or business and that sort of thing. It just lists some of the ones that I like. And I'd love to hear what podcasts you like in the description because I'm always looking for new and inspiring people to follow and learn from. So those are the, some of the ways that I love to save time every week. I'm sure there are things that I'm not thinking about or maybe I don't know about and I would love to hear from you ways that you save time. I was going to say bonus one. Now I might get some flack for this. I don't know uh, what's more efficient, but I have started running my dishwasher twice a day because we are a family of five and my husband mostly works from home right now uh, for his company. So he, not his company, but for a company. Um, so he's like eating at home all day, every day almost, except for like one or two days a week and all three of my kids and myself, I'm eating, you know, and cooking from scratch most of the time. So we, we make a lot of dishes. And um, so I have started running the dishwasher in the afternoon, like the early afternoon, and then again at night. And that way we're getting so much for done. And a lot of people will say um, that running your dishwasher, I think, uses less water than washing them by hand. For a while my dishwasher was broken and we didn't replace it for like a long time. And we just recently did and so I am so so happy to have one again. Really missed it because washing dishes is not my favorite. But running it in the afternoon so I get all those cleaned and put away and then running it again in the evening is really helping me keep up more because before I felt like I was still hand washing a lot even though I was running it every night. So I know that doesn't sound like a genius tip but, but maybe you need to start running your dishwasher twice a day. Maybe that'll help you keep up with the dishes better and you know save some more time if you're not hand washing as much and uh because that always takes me way more time than just throwing things in the dishwasher so that's my last tip i'm pretty sure that's the last one <laughs> uh, thank 
thank you so much for watching. Again, please like this video if you haven't liked it yet and subscribe if you haven't. I would love to see you back here for my next video and I would love to hear from you in the comments because I really do see this as a community. It's not just me here talking or that would get super boring. So hearing from you just totally makes my day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video and check out the link in the description box for all my favorite podcasts. I'll see you later. Bye.